In fact, the show that was supposed to be The Replacements' big major label showcase at CBGB's in December of 84, Alex opened for them. As the story goes, uh, Paul uh, met him sort of after the show as uh, everybody was getting paid. And, you know, he was talking to Alex and complimenting him about one of his songs. I think it was a big star song, probably Watch the Sunrise. And he said, oh, I, I you know, I'm in love with that song. What's that song? Uh and, it, and the idea was kind of because people, me in fact, would come up to Alex. I think the first time I met him, I was a little drunk. And I said, you know, Alex, I'm a big fan of yours. I'm in love with uh, that one song. What's that song? You know, I mean, he gets that all the time where people know who he is and know, you know, September Girls. Or, I still don't know the song that I love. It's the, it's the uh, second to the last one on uh, number one record. I was, you know, I've been in his presence where people come up and say, you know, I'm in love with that one song. I mean, I'll sing it differently, but I think I, I, I hit all bases on that. I think it's I'm in love with that song, with the song, and what's that song, and with this song. You could take your favorite and sing it through every time. So the line, you know, it's, it comes from a real place. And then the next day, Peter Jesperson and Paul met Alex near where he was staying at St. Mark's Place. And Alex was, you know, hanging out by the trash and fiddling with his stash. And so the song is really colored by a lot of real things in uh, Paul's first impressions of meeting Alex and, and knowing him. Alex Chilton is, I'm happy to say, a friend of ours. Alex is a strange guy where it's difficult to get close to him and to know him. I'm still kind of in awe of him when I uh, meet him and we get together. We hung out in Memphis a little bit. And uh, I figured I wanted to write a song. I wanted to bring it right out into the open. I mean, a lot of bands are influenced by him and will coyly lift a phrase or a riff or something from him. I figure just come right out and write a song about him. You know, what's wrong with that? I mean, everyone else pays homage to him in, you know, around the barn kind of ways. We. You know, Alex is one of the best songwriters in the world, and, you know, I like the guy, and what the hell? That's great. <laughs> he paid us 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs>